Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I will be teaching you or showing you how I created this wet asphalt floor, this wet concrete floor and um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I learned this from Max A and yeah, I learned the technique from Max A and I'll, I'll just try to show you how I do my own and how I like add a new spice to it. All right, not much spice, but yeah. Oh, I didn't mind. So let's get to it. First things first. Here, this is what it looks like. The first things first. Let's create a new document. Let's do our cube. Power four cube. Ship A to add a new plane. S to scale. S nine there. Scale one nine. Then let's add a new. Let's add a new cube. Ship A. Add a cube. Oh, this is how the plane. This is how the other plane. We only need the cube. So, it's X. It's X. A little bit. RX minus. There, I see. GY. What we today on it on wire. Just let's get it over here. It's on the Z axis. And, um, yeah. First things first, let's make this. And then mission node so we can see what we are doing with our and mission. And then let's delete the lights on the sun. You don't really need to do anything like camera access. I just want to show you what the texture looks like. So I always open like another window for my uh it's a, another tab. Yeah, it's like a window or tab. Another area. This I always open another area of my my texture. So I just click on this good spot you hear it all. Sorry, my shader editor. Press print to close this. Then click on our plane. So let's say let's crank this up a little bit. It's like for that seven or eight or nine or ten. Let's crank it over back sides once and just for you to see how it's reflecting on the ground. And let's click on our plane. Add a new mount serial. Then this is what we're going to do. Let me show you the texture sets that I use for this. So I went to Poly yeah, fully even. I don't I don't really as far as it can be another as far as it can be it can be a root can be a texture and swap can be a texture or any other but this depends on the vibe you're going for it depends on the mood you're trying to set and depends on what kind of soil your subject is on because you know, we sure have like an half spot in in your room. I know and it doesn't make sense. So yeah. So you can download your fork texture. They already have it set up for you, but I, we don't need our full setup. We can download as a blend file, but we don't need our full setup. So we just need the diffuser and we need, yeah, we just need the diffuse. And then you can download another aspect. There's another aspect file here where that you need to download. That's still the, that's still trying to look for this. I mean, this is it. And then this is it. You know what we just need here is it's just the normal. Yeah. You can now you can still use the same asphalt as you have or whatever. But like just we need normal for to create the bombs and all. You can use any texture, any PBR texture that has like enough bombs that you can you can see the bombs in your eyes. Because I can actually see this. So that's what you really really need. So let's go back to Blender. Add a new file, open English texture, this has files, add a dice used, duplicate this in here. Go to, heck, look for the worst. Yeah, I use the roughness of the, of the metallic, of the metal that had rust on it. So, yeah, and I got this from Ambient CG. Let me show you that, so that the moment. Mental O for Tom, the ambient CG, works on ambient CG for free. And I use the fucky texture, I always use fucky textures, sometimes it depends on the definition I'm going for. I always advise you keep your texture set to case it's kept. And this game will stand for people that have a um, good processing and that's all, like something I can process whenever you're trying to do. Don't put it's kept textures on a little laptop, please. So yeah, fuck it. Let's attach this to the roughness. 
state kind is is this duplicates our star. If you are ending, uh, we'll go to my house spots here. Uh, we're going to use a lot of DX. I don't know which plane I use, which cycle I use, but I don't know. Looks like I just click on DX. Yeah, swap. So, yeah, sorry, this is my status. Then, you add in a normal log. So, you add in a normal log so you can, you know, adjust the heat. No more strength, like the bomb strength on it and stuff. So yeah, but yeah, this is the full set all. This is all you need. I mean, this is what I do all those times. So let's go back to let's change the cycles. But what we needed to, you know, I use cycles most of the time. Let's scale this down on voila. So you can see. Yeah, one more thing to do is giving me all the texture from all the texture sets from beneath. Don't dash you from the alpha. I really don't want to see the light bulbs. So I add like an RGB code. And it's ready. I drag it down. So yeah, then you can see now. One more thing, you can use your know, saturation for this. If you're off how did it go easy to watch you use RGB cores, you can use your saturation. It gets the words. You just crank down your body it's like zero or zero point spawn or zero point. So depending on the drive you're going for like that's just two methods. So let's delete this and use the RGB cores more style. So yeah, just crank it down a little bit. And as you can see, you can see like you can see there's like a drive part and there's a red part. And if you want to have more control over that, you can just add the color on. Yeah, this color on helps you to like control in between this dry part and the red part. So it helps you control in between the light you and the dark you. Because that's all you basically have it. You have a light spot on the dark part. So, and now that you have your color up here, you just come here, drag this to make it more red. Like everything is just like wet overall. But now I'm just, we won't get that vibe that much. Or you can drag your white so that there are some parts that is wet and there are some parts that is dry. And some parts that are almost wet also. Like, it needs to be wet. Like, not that we just have that, that, um, should I say, should I say, yeah, you just have that wet vibe. But how are you wet? So you can see, like, there are 10 different areas to wet pass. So, and if you notice, if you zoom in, the box looks a little bit bigger and it's, it's kind of blurry. So this is where your UV editor comes in. Uh, it's a plane. It's already giving maps and cube already. So, but, but if it's not, you can just press view C. So that's view projection. Control E. No, sorry, just E. Scale up with the UVs. And there you have it. This is definitely messed out. I don't have the solution to this yet because it's, it's QBR is not procedural, so it's definitely going to be uh, I can't really see that here, but I when you can't see it's that it's styling and it's a result. You don't really need to like scale it all that much, just scale it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, we're we'll done. We're we'll done. So we have our flow. And like Max does, you add like your volumetrics and turn down your volumetrics or increase your and stroke your stuff like that. Well, we're not going to start. But this is how I make my route texture. And this method is so interesting and so easy to do. You can get this like five minutes, four minutes. Crazy spot, I can set this up in like 30 seconds. So far, I already know like my, my, like my file, my file locations and everything. So I can set this up like easy. So yeah, this is like one easy way, like one easy way to set up your stuff. Very, very easy. There's no other shit that you need to So yeah, this is the node set all. It's not complicated. It's so really, it's really, really simple. It's really, really simple. Let's set up. So let's see what it looks like in here. Yeah? The chips are also uh, blown. Uh, 
and it's it's loud and it lights to it. It's So yeah, you see, you're still watching the you know, still watching the you know, and you can reduce the number of machines, I say. So it, it flattens out the bump, like there's nothing strength that reduces it, that increase. So it flattens out the balls, right? And also, you can use this placement mark for this, but I prefer using normal mark. I don't know why, but I just use normal mark, right? I don't like stress. So it's not easy getting stressy, but it's not really getting stressy. But yeah, I use the normal for this stamps. And this is the setup. It works both in EV and in cycles. So in case you are trying to do something in real time, you have it. And there's also another way you can create this without using image texture. And I'm covering that in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me today. And uh, one more thing, one more thing. This is my Instagram. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram at Zizabedri and this is my team path. Make sure you follow me on my Twitter. I'm going to be copying a wood off tutorial, like the wood off tutorial from now 